who's the stronger Titan? Eren's attack Titan or Rhyna's armored Titan? Today, we're gonna find out. I love stick animations. They're always so awesome because you can do so much with them. This one is done by the amazing and extremely talented Fabiano Cruz. Oh, and this is the scene. If you guys remember, this right here is the scene where Rhyna tells Eren that he is the armored titan and Bertold is the colossal titan. And Eren is totally stunned. Even Bertold wasn't ready for Rhyna to tell him in that moment. But here we go. He shows Eren that he has extreme healing powers. Mikasa comes in, slashes him, slashes both of them. But unfortunately, it is not enough to prevent the two from transforming into their titan state. Here they go! I actually don't know what happened with Baratold's colossal titan in this scene because it kind of only spawns like his upper body as you will potentially see. I don't know, I haven't seen this video yet, but that is what happens in the actual anime. Yo, this is so sick! I told you boys, stick animations are not as cool as the anime, but definitely very, very cool. Y'all, look, bro. That is the armored titan. That is the first titan that broke through the wall. Oh, no. Was it the colossal? I think the colossal broke through the first wall, and then the armored titan broke through the second. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. But is that Eren? I think Eren is hanging on for dear life right now. But eventually, you're going to see Eren transform into the attack titan. And they're going to go at it. So right now, Rhyna doesn't even want to fight. Neither does Bertolt. They just want to take Eren and run away with him. They want to capture him for his attack titan powers. And bring it back to his hometown. But obviously, Eren doesn't want to be kidnapped. And he is going to fight for his life. So Rhyna is jumping off the other side of the wall right now. I mean, as you can tell, it's a very big wall. If you guys have not seen Attack on Titan, or at least haven't finished it, bro, you are doing yourself a disservice. I'm telling you, I've watched a lot of anime. I've watched a lot of TV shows. I've watched a lot of movies. Attack on Titan is S tier. It is some of the greatest cinema you will ever watch. It's a bit weird to get into, but after you get into it, bro, oh my gosh, you get hooked. You get hooked, and it is insane. Please watch it. Here we go. Eren is transforming into his Titan. Boom! Bash! Uppercut! Bonk! There it is. And now they're gonna fall to the ground here. And it is about to go down. I'm pretty sure in the scene as well, Aaron uses some of Annie's techniques. Yo! Yo! Unfortunately, so the one thing with the armor titan is his entire body is armor. It's not skin, it's like armor. Like you can't, even the scouts when they slash at the armor titan with their swords, it breaks their swords. That's how strong it is. So, unfortunately, it is insanely difficult even for another titan like Eren to do any damage against Rhyna. So, you'll probably see eventually that Eren has to result to a little bit of a different approach, a little bit of a different tactic in order to break the shields of Rhyna. Here he goes. Here he goes. Bang! I think he's still realizing, like, the punches are not doing all that much. Like, look. See, Rhyna just walking forward. Rhyna just walking through all of his punches. But here we go. They now got to the ground, and this... Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Something happens when they're on the ground. So next time they're on the ground, keep that in mind. But Aaron is low-key getting destroyed right now. But here we go, here we go, here we go. Look, they're on the ground. And as you can see, Aaron is going for some sort of chokehold on Rhyna. And as he was there doing the chokehold, he could see that the armor was actually cracking on Rhyna's back and like his neck area. So he was like, okay, hold on, hold on. We are on to something right now. We are on to something. So that may or may not be his, his, his game plan moving forward. Oh God. Oh. Jeez, I don't remember that. Oh boy. Oh, dip, swerve, back on top, and now he goes for a arm bar. That's what it's called. You grab the arm, and then you like hump it at the elbow. Bink. I don't remember ripping the arm off, but apparently he does. 
So that is his new strategy, is instead of actually fighting Rhyna hand-to-hand -hand combat, because he knows his punches aren't really doing anything, he decides, you know what? We're going to take this to the ground and wrestle and jujitsu. And that is where I'm going to dominate you on the ground. Especially because Rhyna only has one arm. So now it should be relatively easy. I mean, have you ever, have you guys ever wrestled someone with one arm before? I haven't, but I'd imagine it'd be pretty easy. Whoa, that is just a regular Titan. That is not even like a, a person Titan. And there we go. Oh, I remember that too, bro. So I didn't even know this at the time, but Rhino can actually shed his armor off. So he shed the armor off of the back of his legs because that will allow him to be faster, quicker, more mobile, more agile. And he thinks that that would help him in this battle. Little does he know. Aaron's got some backup. But there we go. I mean, it works at first. He's so fast now. But Aaron gets him down to the ground again. And he is going at the neck. Mikasa comes in, slashes the back of the legs because they don't have armor on him anymore. And Aaron is cranking, he's cranking, he's cranking. He breaks the armor on his back. And he is about to finish the job. But Rhino crawls into a ditch. Now, what does this ditch do? Well, the ditch doesn't do anything. But then he calls up to Beartalt. The Colossal Titan, who is still all the way up there, and falls over, face first, into a tsunami dive bomb. Now, if you guys thought that was epic, you have no idea what is to come. You actually might have an idea, based on this scene right here. One of the greatest scenes in all of television history. No joke. I actually... I'm not kidding. I tell everybody I'm going to name my first child Levi because of this scene. This is Levi versus the Beast Titan. This is the scene right here. If you haven't watched it in the actual anime, you have to watch it, bro. You have to watch it. I'm telling you, you are missing out. But here we go. Here's Ervin giving the signal that the mission is a go. Everyone proceed with the mission. Even though they all know that there's going to be a lot of casualties. That right there is the Beast Titan. He kind of looks like King Kong a lot. Oh, it's about to get ugly. Oh, jeez. Ervin goes down. Everyone is going down, bro. But the mission continues. You don't stop for anything. You don't stop for anyone. I'm, I'm literally getting the chills right now watching this. I I have goosebumps. I literally have goosebumps. And there's the goat. There's the goat, Levi. One down. Two down. Three down. Four down. He's not stopping. He is not stopping. All of these people right here are giving up their lives, essentially, for a decoy for Levi. Because the Beast Titan is entirely distracted by the army of scouts that are headed their way. And so it is all on Levi to take out all the Titans and the Beast Titan. It's so sad, man. It's literally so sad. And there's Ervin. And the Beast Titan, I think, looks over and it's like, oh my gosh, wait, what? The Titans are dead. That's right, baby! Say hello to my little friend! His name is Levi Ackerman, and don't you forget it! Bink! There go the eyes. Going for the legs. Yep. He is too good. I mean, come on. I mean, that is the coolest scene of any show, of any movie, of anything that I've ever seen in my entire life. And Fabiano Cruz did an insane job recreating it in stick style. And if you guys want to see me react to some more of Fabiano Cruz's videos, you know what to do. Make sure to leave a like on this one and click right here to watch another amazing video.